Hello, I am Dr. Tuani Vijay Sundara and I am an aesthetic doctor from Nine Wells Hospital. So when it comes to kids, uh, generally at their early stage of their uh, life, like 2 to 10 years time, they are more prone for illnesses because uh, definitely their immunity is low, plus uh, they enter their preschool and school and uh, so they are more prone for uh, in contact with germs uh, because uh, they are always uh, uh, mingling with, uh, with their body parts with their ears eyes and nose so uh, generally uh, most common uh, diseases would be like uh, upper respiratory tract infections like common cold cough and bron bronchiolitis bron uh, bronchitis Plus, when you take eyes, uh, it can be conjunctivitis, plus ears, of course, the ear infections. So, we can actually, um, by maintaining proper hygiene, we can prevent all these diseases. Plus, uh, apart from this, we also do have certain diseases which can uh, prevent with uh, vaccination, which are like uh, measles, mumps, pertussis, tetanus. So, um, with uh, timely vaccination with immunization uh, program, uh, we can always prevent these uh, certain diseases as well. Yeah, so when it comes to nutrients of food, we can divide them into two types, which are micronutrients and macronutrients. So micronutrients are other minerals and vitamins. Plus, when you take the macronutrients, which are the fundamentals of our food, which are carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. So when you take a healthy, balanced meal, we can divide all these nutrients on a plate, if you take a plate, uh, into portions so if you take a plate a half of the plate should be our vegetables and fruits and which includes like greeny leafy vegetables can be spinach like leaves or salads and um, <clears throat> other half from the other half half of it should be our starches which is like grains and uh, if you can go for more healthier options like uh, whole grain uh, starches that would be a better option and uh, plus the other quarter should be the proteins which includes the plant-based or either meat uh, animal proteins which can be fish or uh, meat and if you take animal uh, sorry if you take uh, plant-based proteins it can be your pulses legumes nuts or seeds Yeah, so uh, the frequency of exercises actually differs with your goals. So if you take as weight loss per se, uh, what is the most important thing is your calorie intake should be less than your calorie burn. So uh, for that, you have to have a proper structured uh, exercise program. So which includes actually cardio exercises strength training and a good core workout training plus uh, definitely your recovery with a good stretching uh, training so when you take a cardio exercises uh, we can do either moderate intensity or high intensity exercises so moderate intensity means like you know you can have a, like <coughs> Uh, slow brisk walking or jogging or like running or swimming or cycling likewise you have to do at least a minimum of 30 minutes uh, or more uh, at least uh, five times a week so if you are a fan of a high intensity workout you can do at least minimum of 30 minutes or more than that uh, at least three times a week so this uh, cardio actually helps you to burn calories plus apart from that if you want to go ahead with a more structured program you have to incorporate strength training which can you can um, have a, a at least like three times a week if you can go with the strength training that would be adequate So 
yeah exercise has definitely many benefits so when you take a regular person who can regularly exercise so it will <coughs> support your metabolism plus it will help you to keep your calories burning in if you're on a weight loss goal and the other thing is like it it helps you to maintain and build your muscle mass plus your bones uh, when you take like younger age it will help you to improve the bone density plus at later stage it will prevent you from having diseases like osteoporosis so other thing is um, it definitely reduces the risk of having uh, chronic diseases at later stage of life like diabetes heart disease or like hypertension and other thing is with exercise actually our blood circulation to to whole of our body is uh, regulated well so <clears throat> when it comes to uh, sweating and all the peripheral blood, blood circulation is proper it will remove all our toxins from our body and it will help you to have a healthier glowing skin as well and it will help you to delay your uh, skin aging as well and of course the other thing is like it will have a good blood circulation to the brain as well so which will help you to have a good brain health plus a good memory and the other thing uh, is like it will definitely elevates your mood so it uh, it is a mood booster so that you can keep your uh, day uh, more energized and your uh, in in uh, as a result you can have like a less stress and a less anxious lifestyle Yeah, so BMI stands for uh, body mass index. So generally, it is a indicator of your body fat levels. So for a professional medical professional, it it helps you to determine your overall fitness levels. Plus, plus it will um, help you to uh, determine any risk of having any chronic diseases. Usually, BMI a normal range of BMI. is like 18.5 to 24.5 so uh, as when you calculate a individuals bmi if it's less than normal range we categorize them as like a, you know as a, you know risk of having malnutrition or anemia if it's like higher than the normal range which is more than 25 we um, categorize them as obesity uh, more prone for obesity and more uh, risk of having chronic diseases so uh, yeah for a normal individual an adult a female should have at least like 2 to 2.5 liters of water which includes about 11 cups and for a male it should be uh, 3 to 3.5 liters of water per day yeah so sleep is a function which helps you to um, keep your body and mind uh, stabilized so it will refresh and keep you alert when you wake up definitely when your uh, mind when you don't have enough sleep you, your mind will be impaired and it will be very difficult for you to concentrate on things and plus your memory will be impaired as well So for a normal individual uh, adult we should need at least 7 to 8 hours of sleep per day. So any substance abuse can have serious health conditions. So even certain uh, substances like alcohol and nicotine is legal after a certain age. Some individuals find this find it's uh, struggling for that addiction so um if you take uh, certain substances like injectables or inhalants or synthetic products uh, um it has more serious extreme uh, health hazards on your uh, various systems of your body like respiratory system nervous system and digestive system and definitely it will have health hazards on your damage to your kidneys and liver and uh, so 
uh, what I would advise is if a certain individual is struggling to have, uh, you know, with uh, overcoming these uh, substance abuses, best thing is to uh, seek professional help so that it will help you to get over the condition. Yeah, so it's uh, definitely patient's right to ask regarding uh, a certain test before undergoing a, a certain test. So definitely uh, she or he can ask the necessity of that particular test and uh, why it's required and what are the um, risk factors involved in it and what can benefit for his or her health uh, from all those tests. Plus, also, um, he or she can ask regarding uh, any other option for that particular test, which can include more cost-effective wise, and also, is there any lifestyle lifestyle changes he or she can undergo uh, without undergoing those tests. Yeah, so most of us uh, usually go to a healthcare professional only when we are sick. So, but uh, the important fact is like uh, if when we do a annual or like a timely routine health checkups, we can uh, diagnose any impending diseases before in hand, and uh, so that we uh, your healthcare professional can plan a treatment for that if it's early diagnosis mainly we can diagnose uh, chronic diseases like hypertension diabetes and uh, uh, high cholesterol levels with these certain um, uh, tests so that per se which can help uh, for uh, which the, the doctor can decide whether you need to go for any treatment or by uh, adjusting your lifestyle whether uh, you can uh, control your certain conditions and to have a uh, maintain a better lifestyle. So I believe that uh, health is the greatest wealth. So when it comes to health, most of us think it is about physical health, but actually it is a combination of both physical and mental health. So these two goes hand in hand. So when you are healthy uh, physically, you are mentally happy as well. And uh, in the other hand, when you are uh, mentally healthier, you are more prone to have more healthier life physically. So uh, uh, what I believe is like you cannot pour from an empty cup. So you have to take care of yourself, take care of your health and love yourself and so it is uh, make sure that you take some time at least one to two hours for yourself to take care of your health. So uh, yeah, so children most of the time are influenced with other people. So as parents, how we behave and what we talk and what we do matters to them. So most, if we can, uh, for physical fitness wise, if we can engage them in uh, such outdoor sport or like outdoor activities, that would be helpful for them for their um, physical fitness. And plus, um, if you can create and safe and a sound environment for them, for them, they will feel more secure with their life. Plus, um, I would say if you can be the best friend for your kid, that would be the best uh, achievement you can get. So definitely postpartum period is one of the most challenging time in motherhood so be kind for yourself and be patient and try to enjoy the motherhood as much as you can.